Hello. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube. I'm back again. But I'm going to explain something to you, I guess, about a straight six inline 250 81 Chevy motor. Because there ain't really nothing on the internet about this or the information I needed on YouTube or anything explaining too much anything. So here we go into it. So here we are. This is the number one cylinder with the number one spark plug in this motor. This, the little white mark down there, is a timing light mark or, you know, anything like that. It's for timing, basically, to let you know if you're on drop top dead center or not. And what I mean by that is there's a mark on the other side of that wheel that's kind of grinded in. And we, you know, it's all the way on the bottom right now. But it's grinded into that wheel as such as you see. It's, it means it's uh, where the top dead center is where the piston, if it goes up and it's in that big mark right there, there's a big gap. But you gotta get that line to meet up with that gap to let you know this is top dead center this year okay well after that under here there is a rotor a cap it's white what you got to do is to retime these or anything if you take this out of here mess with it or whatnot you got to make sure that cap and there's a metal pin on there that bings all these bing 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 oh yeah and it rotates like a clock this way see passenger side boom 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 goes like this so what you want it to do is go boom 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 and face this this side of the motor you know as best you can see i got them white marks down there that's where the uh cap underneath this distributor should be pointing about to, to this first one or around about this area you know in the top area here and these motors here I was informed this because you could be top dead center one and then try to start it and if it doesn't start at all you're 180 degrees out so what you want to do is leave it on get it to where it's top dead center again take this cap off and it'll probably be facing about toward the passenger side if that happens all you got to do is pull it up out of there again you know with this thing off and everything you pull this little bit out here you have to take a, a bolt out there it's a 9 16th bolt Nobody ever tells you that either. It's a 916. So you'll take that and you rotate it all. The, I mean, if it's if it's top dead center and it's facing this way after you did it the first time, you're all good now. You just take it out and roll it back to to here again. You know, you put the cap back on and it goes. Let's see. It'll go one. One, five, three, six, two, four, you know, four is the last one because it's only a six cylinder, straight six, you know. But that's the deal. I mean, honestly, that's simple. I mean, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. Once you see yours, what you're dealing with, you might not have the same cap that looks like this because I've seen other ones that didn't look like this. They look the kind of smaller and whatever. But it's about the same. And you want your intake valve or your, you know, to be going this way because you're 
it's going this way. That's a vacuum pump. A vacuum, you know, thing goes to the uh, carburetor there. Let's it know how much vacuum for timing the release and this and that. But after you do that, it should fire up and then you can tune it by moving it, uh, you know, backward or forward. You know, and that's about it, guys. And it should be uh, pretty simple. At first, it's really frustrating, confusing. I spent a couple hours doing it yesterday. I had a screwdriver in there. I got shocked, so be careful with that because I was making sure this was letting me know this was top dead center, you know, just to be reassuring myself of that. But you want to get it on the kind of upstroke of the compression, not the downstroke. So make sure you get it just as close as you can coming up from the upstroke of this piston in here you know up in this uh spark plug area so after you bump it you could fill in there with a screwdriver a long a long flathead screwdriver or whatever and you could tell it's like right there you know and right here this the lines on here will help you tremendously also. So, good luck in your adventures, and have a blessed day, y'all. Chevy to the end. Bow tie till I die, baby. Have a good day.